the rising cost of prescription drugs. Remember Mylan? A company that jacked up the price of its life-saving EpiPen by nearly 600%. Well, while Mylan's earnings beat analysts' expectations today, despite a decline in its EpiPen sales, the outrage over Mylan's EpiPen price hike really started to resurface again when it has been revealed Mylan chairman Robert Corey received a golden parachute payout, an exit package of $97 million. Robin O'Brien is known as the Aaron Brockovich of food allergies and even coined the term hashtag EpiGate when, when you helped Robin trigger the awakening to the skyrocketing price of EpiPens. Uh, you're here in an exclusive. Um, when I saw this, I said, wait a minute, wait a minute. I, I cover Big Pharma. It is a big, it is a way bigger exit package than Big Pharma ever gives its top executives. What, what, are, we to, what are we to think about this? as they jacked up the price of EpiPen. Well, you know, not only did they jack up the price of EpiPen over 600%, 17 times over a 10-year period, like you mentioned, Liz. Mm -hmm. You know, the other thing that this guy oversaw was a congressional investigation that suddenly went quiet. We've got Medicaid and Medicare fraud that has occurred. And we've got lawsuits, class action lawsuits, that are aiming at this company right now. So, you know, he, maybe he earned it, maybe he didn't. There's a lot going on there. I think what we probably need to do right now is take a lesson out of the Wells Fargo book and you kind of need to disinfect this board. You've got three board members that are stepping down right now amidst all this stuff going on. One of them is being investigated by the SEC for a real estate deal that he did with Mylan. The other thing that Corey did was he executed that tax inversion, which relocated Mylan's headquarters overseas so they could avoid paying taxes here in the U.S. Meanwhile, he executed this business model on the backs of American families and specifically on the backs of American kids. Both you and I have, well, it's your, your child and my nephew have fatal allergies. If, I mean, throughout my nephew's entire life, we've all carried EpiPens at every place that he could possibly be because if somebody breathes on him uh, milk, he, my nephew, he, he could die if he doesn't have that EpiPen. Um, it is stunning to me that this is still going on. I just came from the Berkshire Hathaway shareholder meeting. Berkshire is, is Walt, Wells Fargo's largest shareholder. And what Warren Buffett said was he understands a first mistake. It's the second mistake that the second the CEO finds out this is happening, well, there was no discovery. I mean, Heather Bresch was the one who probably drove much of this. Um, then you fix it, especially when you've got a PR maelstrom going on here. What do we need in the health care plan that the House just passed and that the Senate may change that would maybe keep this kind of thing in check? Well, you know, first of all, I don't think that this was a mistake on the part of Mylan. I think it was very exactly. intentional exactly. to jack up the price of these drugs on the backs of kids. I think when it comes to a company like this one, there's a monopoly in place. So barriers to entry are obviously very, very high. The process through the FDA for companies who are trying to bring auto injectors onto the market was restricted because what Mylan did was they filed these lawsuits for patent infringement. And every day that they were able to delay another company coming on the market, they earned an extra $3 million. So they were able to use the legal courts to try to prevent and block competition. So I think if we're going to have a competitive marketplace, if we're going to keep the prices down, there's got to be lower barriers to entry. And if you think about it, when you go to buy a shirt or a car or a television set, you've got choice. In drugs, for example, we don't mm -hmm. have that same choice. We need the choice in the marketplace in order to put, drive a healthy... We hold the FDA's feet to the fire. We have a brand new EPA chief who's getting really strong marks, certainly from, from the gang over at the Wall Street Journal. I watched a whole show where Paul Gigot on the weekend was saying, this guy is, is definitely somebody who's going to fast track. And there's some dangers in that, but uh, there were uh, generics that just couldn't get push through. I'm hoping Scott Gottlieb makes this happen. You know, it's interesting. I mean, Scott Got Gottlieb himself has a pre-existing con condition. He's a cancer survivor. And so, you know, he's been an investor. He's been a consultant. He's been a board member of many pharmaceutical companies. So he's an insider. He knows how this works, just like Hank Paulson was an insider for banking and came on as, as the head of the Treasury. It's not, it's not unfamiliar. We've seen this pattern before. I think, again, what is absolutely required here, especially in light of what we've been experiencing with these skyrocketing prices for EpiPens and insulins and other drugs, is you've got to have complete transparency around this process. You've got to lower the barriers to entry so that we can have a healthy marketplace and healthy competition. 
Uh, Milan's flat right now for the stock, but uh, I'm sorry, I don't mean to throw a, throw a wrench into the picture, but can we put up that $97 million exit package up one more time? To me, this is stunning. This is way bigger uh, for compensation than most Fortune 20 companies ever pay, and Milan's market cap is so much smaller. Um, Listen, we, we put yeah. in multiple requests, Robin, you know this, to speak to Mylan. Uh, they'll only talk to the other guys because I, I guess they feel that um, I'm, I'm going to be too hard on them or something. But it, it's really disappointing. I mean, I think what you've got to remember, Liz, is that EpiPen represents 40% of their operating profits. And the way that they've been able to do that was jack up the price of this drug mm -hmm. because then their, uh, then their margins are just massive. And so with yeah. those margins, they're able to drive this profitability. Yeah. And, you know, again, let's have transparency to that. Let's do a further gotcha. investigation. Congress got some stuff started. There's legal action, Sanofi, class actions. There's more to come. There's more in that closet. And I think investors would be smart to do what Wells okay. Fargo did, clean out that board and start over. Thank you very much, Robin. Uh, you've done yep. yeoman's work for kids with allergies. We appreciate it. Thanks, Liz. Robin O'Brien speaking exclusively to Fox Business. Tweet me what you think about that high price. At Liz Clayman of the EpiPen. Now